name is Natalie Augustin. I'm from Montreal and I'm 27 years old. Well, I was 23 when I found lumps in my left breast, but because I was so young, I didn't really think anything of it. Neither did my family doctor. She said that in your 20s, it's normal to have bumpy breasts because of fat, fiber, and um, hormones. So because she wasn't panicking, I didn't panic either. I had finished school and I was working and I was training and I was going out. I had the typical 20-something year old life. About a year passed and finally I got checked. I did an ultrasound, a mammogram and a biopsy. And one test led to another and finally the results were breast cancer. And it was in July 2013 that I was diagnosed with breast cancer at 24 years old. In your 20s, you know, you think you're invincible, you don't think these things can happen to you. And so when it did, knowing that I was going to lose my hair, my, my eyebrows, my eyelashes, that um, my body was going to change completely and that I perhaps may, may pass away in my 20s, it didn't make any sense to me. One, I have to admit that I have the most supportive friends and family and a boyfriend that were really there for me from beginning to end and they still are today. Um, I'm blessed. So because I had everything and the support that I needed, um, I felt like I needed to give back. And that's where Nally.ca was born. I'll admit it, I did it at first because being in communications, expressing myself, it was therapeutical to me. I just needed to let it out. Social media it was something I always loved to do. But then, when I realized I launched it, I was receiving messages from other women from all around the world who also had breast cancer at a young age who thought that they were alone and they would simply say thank you for inspiring me to never give up. And it was from that day forward that I realized my purpose was really to help others through this experience. So by me blogging and um, sharing my experience and it was almost like I could be there for them from afar. So I think that's how I coped. Helping others was really my, my therapy. I'm really honored to be the honoree for Taste for Life. It's amazing um, to be recognized for all that I've done. With all the donations raised at Taste for Life, I get to choose the project where the money is donated. And now I have this amazing opportunity to give back. So to me, it makes everything that I've ever been through worth it. I think my mission of being so open about my diagnosis and my journey was really to prove to others who are fighting cancer or families who are going through cancer at the moment is just to prove to them that there's hope. Like I just want to be like, look at me now, if I can do it, so can you. And the importance of really just living life to the fullest. A lot of people, um, they don't take advantage of every day, they don't really go for what they dream for and I think that's the message I want to send to everybody out there.